you cannot out fast or out exercise a bad diet. Fasting is a tool to help reverse all of the damage you did from a bad diet. So if you are fasting and then you're jumping in and eating refined carbohydrates, you are literally like a hamster on a treadmill. You are not going anywhere. And on my weight loss journey, I know this all too well, which is why I want to emphasize the importance of nutrition. Weight loss happens in the kitchen, no matter what you do. Fasting is just a tool to help reverse all of the metabolic dysfunction that resulted from the consumption of refined carbohydrates. So if you're going into a fast and you're breaking it with candy or you're breaking it with junk food, you are just going to get yourself right back in the same scenario where you started from. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Deela Joy and I've lost the majority of my weight with this fasting method, one meal a day, which is a form of time-restricted eating where you consume all your calories within a four-hour eating window. I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds using the combination of the keto diet, the common sense diet, which is just eating more fiber and more vegetables and throwing in fasts here and there. But I always emphasize the importance of portion control and nutrition. So I'm going to jump into why you cannot out fast a bad diet. Here's why. Refined carbohydrates are basically unnatural carbs. These carbs take away from our body's ability to tell us to stop eating. So when we consume food, we basically get a bunch of hormonal responses to tell us to what to do with the food, A, and to stop our satiety signals. So when we eat things like protein, our body produces peptide YY, which kind of tells us to stop eating. When our body eats fat, our body produces the hormone cholecystokinin, which tells our body to stop eating. These are satiety hormones. And when we eat foods that are voluminous in fiber, we our, our stomach gets stretched out. And that stretching of the stomach produces a hormone that goes up into our brain that tells our brain to stop eating. So when you eat refined carbohydrates, it basically negates our body's natural system to tell us to stop eating, which is why we're seeing epidemic proportions of obesity. We're seeing people pushing five, six, 700, even 800 pounds or more. And we're seeing people struggle with food addiction, and constantly eating. And this is why we are eating carbohydrates that our body has not adapted to processing. So when we eat these naked carbs, we pass bypass these sig signals. That's why you can eat a piece of cake and then eat more and then eat more or go out and eat like junk food and feel like you're not satisfied and eat more and eat more because carbs in nature are blanketed with fiber. When we normally eat a natural whole food diet, we're eating pure protein, fats, and we're eating lots of fibrous vegetables and fruits. So when we eat our carbs and we eat our food in this way, we are adapting to our body's natural hormonal response of telling us to stop eating. Not only that, refined carbohydrates just completely destroy our body's system, destroy our body's ability to function metabolically, which is why we're seeing so many metabolic illnesses today from obesity to type 2 diabetes to Alzheimer's, which is all a result of metabolic dysfunction. So when you do a fast, you're doing a fast to help reverse all of this metabolic dysfunction. So why would you go and start eating foods that go and undo that reversal? And not only that, it destroys our gut health. I've said this many, many times. So when you re eat refined carbohydrate, it messes with our gut health. So then you're furthering, you know, it's like a positive feedback loop in a negative way. So the positive feedback loop of gaining weight, you know, you eat the refined carbohydrates and then your hormonal system's completely off and your body cannot stop eating. And then what happens is it further positive feedback 
in a negative way that it destroys the gut microbiome. So then you start craving more and more of these glucose loving foods because you have gut bacteria that craves that. And not only that, you train your body to use one system and that is the sugar burning system as opposed to the fat burning system. Power comes with metabolic flexibility, being able to go in a in out of sugar burning and fat burning. So when you're eating tons of naked carbs, aka processed carbs, you're basically training your body to only burn fuel with glucose. So when glucose is present, then you're further positing, increasing that positive negative feedback loop in terms of your insulin response. So you're getting more excess insulin and then that excess insulin gets stored in belly fat and then your cortisol level spikes and it's just a whole mess. And then you find yourself with all these metabolic illnesses. This is why it's so important to use fasting as a tool to help control your nutrition. Fasting is about controlling your nutrition. If you fast and go eat junk food, you're not controlling your nutrition. Fasting is helping to heal your body from all of the damage so you can have a chance to start eating whole foods, to start eating in a way that's healthy. That's why I always say blanket your carbs because when you blanket your carbs, you're basically mimicking your body's hormonal system, which is used to eating carbs with fiber. So if you have a piece of bread, blanket it with some vegetables. So then you're getting in that those hormones, the stretch hormone that tells you to stop eating, blanket it with protein and fat. So you're getting cholecystokinin and peptide YY telling you to stop eating. This is the key with all of this. It is so important to eat whole foods. Avoid the refined carbohydrates, reduce them. If you're gonna eat them, litter them with a bunch of fruits, litter them with a bunch of vegetables, litter them with a bunch of protein and fat. So this is why. And if you are a person that's on that fasting roller coaster train where you're the only way you can lose weight with fasting, you are on a very dangerous train, a very dangerous yo-yo dieting train where you're going up and down very quick. And that puts so much stress on your body. Trust me, I've been there. The key to that is to focus on the devil and the devil is the food addiction, is to practice eating in the kitchen. Stop fasting, take a break from fasting and focus on your nutrition because what's the point of doing all of these fasts to only just regain the weight again? You need to solve the problem and the problem is your food addiction. The problem is your metabolic dysfunction, which is causing the food addiction. And the problem is the binge eating. If you're struggling with past trauma or stresses and you turn to food, that is what you need to focus on. You need to focus on reversing that. You can't be focusing on the fasting only because you can't fast indefinitely. You need to learn how to properly eat. And I thought it was important to talk about this on this video because I'm a big proponent of fasting, but I don't wanna see fasting getting a bad rap because people are in this hopeless, endless loop of fasting, eating junk, eating junk, triggering those systems, being insatiably hungry and going and going. The key is to reduce that system. Now I'll give you quick ways you can do the keto diet that can help calm things down and the keto diet does put you in autophagy. But with the keto diet, again, you still need to learn how to eat refined carbohydrates in a way that you're stacking it with vegetables. That's why I like the keto diet with vegetables. That's why I say stuff your face with vegetables, stuff your face with fiber and all of the good foods. So you take advantage of your body's natural way of processing food. Our body has not adapted to processing these refined carbohydrates, which is why we are at this health state that we are today. If some people are not obese, then they have mental health and other metabolic issues, skin issues, inflammation, and so forth. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word health, and I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.